Hi, I'm Troy Carruthers, the AutoCAF's product manager for the Darley Company. And I often get asked, what do I recommend for a compressed air foam nozzle? And I have to tell you, the nozzle that I find making the most firefighters satisfied with giving them the most, uh, the most opportunities when they're at a fire scene is the uh, Akron Sabrejet nozzle. This Akron Sabrejet nozzle has the opportunity of being both a uh, smooth bore nozzle, as you can see straight through. We've got a uh, 1 and 1 8 inch tip here on the end of this fog nozzle. This is a uh, smooth bore capability. When you open the bale across the top, it gives you smooth bore all the way through to the tip at 1 and an eighth inch. Or what you also have is the ability to create a fog pattern by rotating your uh, fog spray head from the closed position here. As you begin to open it, it will start with a nice straight stream. And you can do that both with the uh, smoothbore closed or with the smoothbore open. This is actually a dual shutoff version. They make it in both a single shutoff and a dual shutoff. This dual shutoff gives you the capability to have the nozzle, the smoothbore closed, and then open the fog pattern and create a nice fog spray pattern. Or you can do both simultaneously. What I like to do is I like to go into a fire with my fog pattern set into a nice protective stream or a nice protective spray. And then as I see a hot spot, you can actually see right through the fog pattern and you can hit it with the smooth bore and shoot right through your protective fog pattern without giving up that uh, or sacrificing that protective heat uh, barrier with your, with your spray nozzle. So this Akron Sabrejet, which uh, this happens to be a model 1528, we've asked for it with the one and a half inch swivel inlet versus the two and a half inch swivel inlet, which is normally what comes on the 1528. We get the one and a half inlet on the 1528 along with the one and an eighth inch tip size. It gets you pretty decent medium uh, compressed air foam, not the really dry fluffy stuff. That's about the only knock against this nozzle is it just cannot make the really dry fluffy shaving cream foam that's um, you know rather indicative of the compressed air foam system. But other than that, this nozzle can do it all, give you a protective fog pattern, give you a decent fire knockdown, and still put out a pretty nice blanket of foam as well. So if you want to try a new nozzle, the, uh, the Akron Sabrejet is uh, the nozzle that I'd recommend. 